Hi there, and welcome to the short video series on the MYP Personal Project. If you're watching this, you're likely starting your personal project or looking for clarification on a project you've already begun. As the culminating project of the International Baccalaureate's Middle Years program, many students may feel the weight of the personal project to be a little intense. This may also be your most open and student-driven learning experience to date, and that can feel just a little too broad. And that's where these videos come in. Now I can't tell you what to do for the personal project. Maybe you want to explore a favorite sport, a new language and culture, a musical creation, an artistic endeavor, something vaguely digital, the annual irreparable extinction of hundreds to thousands of unique species every year related to habitat destruction resulting from conditions created by capitalist globalization. Maybe you like dogs. I don't know, that's all up to you. But what I can tell you is what the personal project is and how to complete it. So let's get started. So what is the MYP Personal Project? The Personal Project is an opportunity for students to explore an area of personal interest in a structured academic setting. If you ever thought your classroom learning wasn't very well connected to your own personal experience and life, to your interests, well, this is the opportunity to make those connections. You get to research and then do or create whatever you want within reason. The personal project is personal. That means it exists outside of the classroom expectations. You might use something from your classroom learning to inform your project, but the project doesn't happen in class, and it's not directly connected to your subject disciplines. So it's not a math project or a history project. It's a you project. And that's where you should get excited or terrified, but that's why we're here to help. Each student will be assigned one supervisor to support the project progress. Your supervisor will help guide you through the project by providing you with formative feedback, important deadlines, and general advice at key intervals during the process. It's still your project, so they can't make any decisions for you, but they can be a sounding board for you to discuss and work out ideas for yourself. One of the supervisor's roles is to help you through the MYP inquiry cycle. The inquiry cycle, a version of the design cycle, has five major stages. Investigating, where you research your ideas and learn about your topic. Planning, where you make an action plan and a success rubric for your project. Taking action, where you achieve the goal. You do the thing you plan to do. Reflecting, where you look back on your project and consider its strengths, weaknesses, and lessons to be learned. And finally, demonstrating, where you share your entire experience with the defined audience. We'll unpack each of these stages in later videos, but just remember, regardless of your project goal and even the success of your project, it's essential that you follow the inquiry cycle. Your first step is choosing a goal. Each student needs to choose a highly challenging goal based on their personal interests. For example, if you're developing an interest in photography, you might set a goal of mounting a photo exhibition based around the theme of gender fluidity. If you want to explore sustainable lifestyles, you could plant, tend, and harvest an organic vegetable garden of indigenous vegetables and then prepare a truly local diet. You'll notice these goals are complex. They have to be challenging. If you're a ballet dancer and you go to dance practice twice a week, creating a dance video isn't challenging enough. However, choreographing a dance, writing your own score, or staging a local show could all be challenging enough depending on your prior knowledge. Your personal project goal depends on you, and you have to demonstrate to your supervisor how the process of achieving that goal is a challenging learning experience. As you move through the different stages of inquiry, you are to document your progress through a process journal. A process journal is an evolving record of your experience of the project. It's where you record research, reflections, feedback, and any other relevant experiences during the project. It's not necessarily a physical journal like a diary, but it can be. It's any location, physical or digital, where you collect the evidence of your process. At the end of the project, you will submit evidence of your completed goal or product, a reflective report detailing your experience of the project, and selected process journal extracts to support that report. Interestingly, the process journal is actually more important than the completion of the goal or product. Even if you don't succeed in what you set out to accomplish, if you have evidence in your process journal of your efforts and you reflect on that process in the report, you can still do very well in your personal project. It's not about the finished product. It's about the process and your growth as a learner. And your process journal is evidence of that progress. 
There are three main reasons, among many, why we do the personal project. First, it's the culmination, synthesis, and demonstrations of all of the learning skills that you've developed through the MYP. Everything you've learned about IB Global Context and the ATL skills, the approaches to learning, are used and then reflected upon in writing in the personal project. Now, importantly, these skills are applied to a personally defined inquiry. This is our second reason and my personal favorite. Students have the opportunity to work outside the course curricula and explore something that is important to them. Remember, a you project. This can help develop motivation for learning and expand on personal passion. It's an opportunity for authentic application of learning skills. Finally, the MYP is a key part of the IB core continuum. From the IB Primary Years Program Exhibition through the MYP Community Project, the personal project is an important step in this progression and prepares students for the Diploma Program Extended Essay. The independent research and self-management skills applied in the personal project will be essential for those completing the Extended Essay in the Diploma Program. So in this introduction, or overview, we've learned that the personal project is an independent learning experience to meet a student-defined goal by using the MYP inquiry cycle. We now know that it's important because it makes learning skills relevant to individual interests and experiences. And this is what makes it such a key part of the IB core continuum. In our next videos, we'll explore the MYP inquiry process in more detail and walk you through the different stages of the personal project. Until then, thanks for watching.